with the increased interest in renewable and sustainable energy systems, and of course, electric-powered vehicles, solar-powered cars have come to the fore. Many automobile companies are working towards making solar cars, and the technology could well change the future of the automotive industry. While solar has undergone a comparable revolution in photovoltaic development, a mass-produced solar car has yet to hit the market anywhere in the world. The term solar panel vehicle generally describes any vehicle with solar cells integrated into its design known as solar electric vehicles. Solar-powered vehicles are electric vehicles that use photovoltaic cells to convert energy from sunlight into electricity. These vehicles can store some solar energy in batteries to allow them to run smoothly at night or in the absence of direct sunlight. If used on a large scale, solar-powered vehicles not only help with environmental pollution but also with noise pollution. Many prototypes of solar-powered cars are currently in development and some are even produced. Both large and small automakers are involved in developing hybrid solar cars. According to estimates, the solar vehicle market could reach $689 billion by 2027. Automobile companies are already working on ways to capitalize on the idea with interim technology, such as solar roof panels for charging batteries and internal systems. According to Hyundai, the Sonata hybrid solar panels can generate enough electricity to charge 30 to 60 percent of a car's battery with six hours of daily charging. This adds around an extra 800 miles annually. In Japan, the Toyota Prius Prime is available with a solar roof to add up to 6 kilometers of driving range per day. However, this tech is unavailable in the US as the materials used do not pass US rollover tests. In Nissan Leaf, the company released its first solar roof car in 2010, well ahead of the pack. The vision of sun-powered transportation dates back at least to 1955, when General Motors Company displayed a 15-inch toy car outfitted with solar cells at a Chicago trade show. Nearly three decades later, two men teamed up to drive an oddly-shaped solar-powered vehicle from Perth to Sydney, according to the National Museum of Australia. The low-slung bathtub on wheels averaged about 19 miles an hour, taking nearly three weeks to complete the roughly 2,500-mile journey. Within a few years, solar vehicle competitions were cropping up in Australia and other countries. The benefit of solar-powered vehicles is that they don't require fuel and have a low cost of maintenance. The solar roof will capture sunlight continually whether the car is moving or stationary and can run longer on the same battery. This requires less charging stops and will get you faster from point A to point B. Solar energy will never run out and it is free. Drastic reduction of air pollution due to the absence of residual pollutants like carbon monoxide, nitrous dioxide, etc. It also reduces noise pollution as solar cars are noiseless. From a user perspective, all you need is a regular power outlet combined with the sun, no need to wait for charging infrastructure, again creating a scalable solution. Great for drivers who travel short distances in sunny climates. There are a few reasons why even the most advanced automobile companies haven't been able to develop fully solar-powered cars. The first and foremost reason is the solar panel itself. The current commercially operated solar panels that we use have only around 20 to 35 percent efficiency. Hence, to power a solar car, we would need a lot of extra space for solar cells. But doing so invokes two other problems that are weight and cost. Solar panels are not cheap, and they are not weightless either. Packing the car's body with solar panels means that you are adding a lot of weight and cost to the car. Solar films has been developed, and they are much lighter than panels, although they are also less efficient at the same time. And when you factor in the weight of the battery, the idea of solar-powered cars seems less and less feasible for the real world. On a clear day, if consider a highly efficient 32-square-foot, PV panels can generate roughly 8 kilowatt-hours of energy per day, that means you would only get around 25 miles of range out of normal complement of panels. Poor weather conditions, driving conditions, improper positioning of the panels, and accumulation of dirt would likely make your solar car struggle to reach this figure. The Earth's curvature can also affect the efficiency of solar panels. It means only a small area of the Earth's surface directly faces the sun at any given time. 
Everywhere else, solar panels are tilted away from the sun somewhat, limiting their ability to harvest energy. Additionally, solar-powered cars aren't 100% eco-friendly. If you look at the way batteries and solar cells are made, especially how the minerals used are mined from the earth, it becomes clear that each vehicle comes with its share of carbon footprint. Now let's calculate the amount of energy you could get through solar panels. According to Engineering Explained host Jason Fenske, when we cover the roof of a Tesla Model 3 with solar panels could net up to 12 kilowatts of continuous power. That means, as long as the sun is shining, you could drive at a constant speed of 62 miles per hour indefinitely, in ideal conditions. Those solar panels could also charge a 75 kilowatt hour battery pack in 6.25 hours, allowing you to keep driving at night. However, real-world conditions aren't really ideal. Only about 55% of solar energy makes its way to the Earth's surface, the rest is reflected away or absorbed by the atmosphere. Factoring in those inefficiencies, a Model 3 covered in solar panels could only net 1.5 kilowatts. At that rate, it would take 8.3 days just to charge the Tesla. Working Principle of a Solar Car Solar cars have solar panels custom designed to be mounted on the surfaces receiving maximum sun rays, which is generally the rooftop. A solar panel allows photons, or particles of light, to excite electrons, generating a flow of electricity. Solar panels are made up of many smaller units called photovoltaic cells that are linked together. The elements used in the making of PV cells are most commonly silicon, alloys of nitrogen, gallium, and indium. All of these elements can retain light and then release it in the form of rapidly moving electrons, which help in generating a flow of electricity. Each PV cell is made of three layers, much like a sandwich. The two outer layers are made of silicon that acts as a semiconductor. The silicon is mixed with other materials, usually phosphorus and boron, to give each slice a positive or negative electrical charge. This creates an electric field at the junction between the two layers. Phosphorus adds extra electrons into the slice, which makes the top layer a negative charge, and boron makes the bottom layer a positive charge by reducing the number of electrons. These elements have a natural retentive property that allows them to absorb the light energy from the solar rays. When a photon of sunlight knocks an electron free, the electric field will push that electron out of the silicon junction. Metal conductive plates on the sides of the cell collect the electrons and transfer them to wires. At that point, the electrons can flow like any other source of electricity. The retained energy then releases in form of free-moving electrons into specially designed storage sections. In fact, we refer to this storage facility as batteries. They comprise of special elements like lithium-ion and nickel-cadmium, etc. These batteries have the ability to convert free electrons into usable energy to power the vehicle engine. The speciality of these batteries is that we can use them repeatedly to power a vehicle. We can do it by recharging them using solar energy. The best aspect of these solar cars is their ability to constantly keep recharging their battery even when parked idle under sunlight. Therefore this reduces the cost of operation of a car to almost negligible. Lightyear 1. Lightyear is the first car capable of taking us long distances while powered only by the sun, which consumed two to three times less energy than any other electric vehicle on the market today, which results in an exceptional range of 450 miles. However, the overall achievable yield strongly depends on the driving patterns of individuals. According to Lightyear, their car uses 83 watt-hours per kilometer and accelerates from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 10 seconds. This car has around 1,000 individual solar cells across the car that ultimately add 30 to 40 miles of range per day during summer. The solar cell modules can charge the car's battery with up to 7.5 miles of range an hour. These solar cells are 20% more efficient than the solar panels you can buy for your home. Aside from its solar power recharging, the car can also be charged at charging stations and at regular outlets. Only with sunlight, Lightyear 1 can charge at 7.5 miles per hour. With 60 kilowatts fast charging, the car's efficient charging allows it to charge up to 350 miles per hour. 
Aptera Soul. Aptera Soul is a solar-powered three-wheeler EV and a sight for sore eyes. As per Aptera Motors the Aptera Soul is a new three-wheeler EV will have a range of up to 1,000 miles with a full charge. The two-person vehicle boasts a solar panel roof array and can provide up to 45 miles of range per day. The vehicles charge with their solar panels in park mode. The solar EV can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.5 seconds while an all-wheel drive at 150 kilowatts. And it can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 5.5 seconds in front-wheel drive, and it has a top speed of 100 miles per hour. Sion. Sion is a hybrid electric vehicle made by German startup Sono Motors that charges itself using solar energy. The company claims this is the first commercially available hybrid solar electric vehicle. The car can go up to 155 miles on a single charge and adds around 21 miles of charge per day via its solar panels. It is equipped with 248 solar cells that are integrated into its body. Mercedes-Benz Vision EQXX one of the standout features of Mercedes's new luxury EV concept is its 117-cell solar panel roof, which charges ancillary systems in the car, allowing for extra range. According to Mercedes, on a day with ideal conditions, the solar roofing can add up to 15 miles of range. As per Mercedes' statement, this, as well as the battery innovations and aerodynamic design, make the EQXX the most efficient Mercedes-Benz ever built. Fisker Ocean. The US-based electric car maker Fisker's Ocean SUV has an option for a solar roof with the Extreme model. The standard Ocean model will start at a price of $37,499. It will come with front-wheel drive, have a range of 250 miles, and produce 275 horsepower. The $49,999 Ocean Ultra produces up to 540 horsepower goes from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.9 seconds, and has a bigger battery giving it a range of 340 miles. The Squad Solar City The Squad Solar City is not your typical electric vehicle. The four-wheel squad is built small, built for driving in the city, and for both private and shared mobility use. It offers a top speed of 28 miles per hour. A full roll cage with seatbelts and four-wheel stability makes it a safe ride. With a swappable battery providing 62 miles of range, it has a solar panel on the roof. This can provide up to 12 miles on a sunny day. Hyundai Ioniq 5 This car will be available with two battery sizes and two drivetrains. A 72.6 kWh battery that produces a combined power output of 225 kWh and 605 Nm of torque. Combined with the all-wheel drive option, the Ionic 5 can reach top speeds of 115 mph. The two-wheel drive option, meanwhile, enables the longest range, reaching around 300 miles with the largest battery option. So, what do you think about solar-powered cars? Do they become more viable? Let me know in the comments. When we talk about new car technology, hydrogen-powered cars are more efficient than conventional IC engine vehicles and produce no tailpipe emissions, they only emit water vapor and warm air. Watch this video and find out how a hydrogen-powered car works.